Johnson, Minnesota State University. We're looking at human learning and we are looking at the mind and the brain. The brain is that physical organ of learning that's responsible for our learning. It's that gray blob of jelly sitting up there. Brain. Mind is a psychological phenomenon that the brain enables. It is consciousness or what we are aware of. And a good analogy is this. Brain is to film projector as mind is to the picture on the screen. Neuroscience is the branch of science that studies the nervous system with a special focus on the brain and how it works. Cognitive science, on the other hand, studies the mind, how we think, how we perceive, remember, and attend uh, and learn. And we need both. Well, we need everything, but the two of them reinforce each other. We learn about each of them by combining both of them. As far as humans, we are naturally inclined to learn, to create meaning, to make sense out of what we perceive out there. It is how our species evolve by making sense of the world around us and learning that, oh, those are bad things hurt us, these are good things help us. Our mind naturally seeks to create order out of chaos. It looks for patterns to use bits of information to see the structure. So we are predisposed to take bits and pieces from the environment to make sense of it, to construct a general understanding of what is happening out there. Now, we impose our very different interpretations on what's out there based on what's in our Head, but we create meaning out of reality. Now, can your brain see the picture here? Meaningless blobs of black and white, but if you look closely, eyes, nose, face, our brain creates meaning out of that. With ambiguity, you don't, you, it's, it's not real clear out there. It increases the top down flow. We are more likely to impose order on it based on what's in our head, using our knowledge and our understanding to make sense of the reality out there. So we see not with our eyes, but with our brains. Eyes are merely the receptors that send patterns to our brains, and it creates a picture on the canvas of our minds. We rely much more on knowledge than perception than for creating meaning or creating our picture of reality. There's more top-down flow than bottom-up. This is pragmatic because our brains can't replicate. It's much more pragmatic to look for patterns, look for just the basic structure and then impose meaning on it. That saves space and makes us more efficient processors of information. This is the end of part two. Uh, part one, part two, we'll look at creating individual realities.